Welcome to the Fit Mama podcast where it's all about gaining your health back as a busy woman and mom, and doing it without sacrificing time with your family or business. Here is your host, mompreneur and Fit Mama health coach, Angela Campbell. All right, you guys, Fit Mompreneur community, I'm excited to start this week off with a bang and to bring you guys some value this morning and some some knowledge to help you know that there is a simpler approach. There is a simpler approach um, to especially nutrition to help you get rid of belly bloat, um, belly fat, all the things. Um, And uh, so I'm gonna share some things that I do personally that I teach a lot of the women in our programs as well um, and things that you can start implementing right now today where uh, wherever you're at in your journey, right? So definitely say hi to me first. Let me know that you're here. Hey, Brie, what's up, girl? Um, and so, yeah, if you're, if you're hopping on live now, say hi. Um, and if you're catching it later on replay, definitely just share replay. Let me know that you're getting uh, to uh, watch these. Um, we do also upload these episodes to our podcast. So if you're not uh, subscribed to the podcast, sometimes it's a little easier to watch there on replay or listen, so to speak, versus having to watch and find another video. So put podcast below if you're not subscribed and I'll, I'll share the link with you. But the thing about today is I want to talk about the simpler approach to nutrition that really leads mo- many women to getting rid of stomach bloat, getting that under control, um, focusing on their gut health, the gut inflammation, all the things that typically cause you to feel bloated and miserable. Um, and also these things do lead to help you lose the belly fat and the pounds, but I wanna focus on belly fat, why? Because um, that is primarily what uh, majority of the women are losing uh, that eat the way that we're, we're gonna talk about today. Um, they're losing weight, pounds, yes, um, but Inches, especially in the waist and that belly fat going away is even more important to majority of the women in this community, right? So if you care more about belly fat, you want to get rid of that belly fat, put belly fat in the comments. If you care a little bit more about pounds, you want to lose pounds on the scale, put pounds. I know I posted something in here yesterday asking what is the most important to you Um, and hands down belly fat. um, There's only very few that said pounds um, was more important to them than the belly fat. Um, belly fat is definitely a thing of today's world. Our society today has led us to eating and living certain ways that is killing us slowly, um, creating more health issues and creating more belly fat buildup. And that's where we are trying to um, just put it out there in reverse, right? Um, so first, I want to give a big shout out though to to uh, to one of our amazing ladies who this this very thing um, is, has helped her lose four inches already in her waist. So Brie, if you're still on, I want a major shout out to you. Um, because I'm so, so, so impressed. Not only are you juggling life and work and two small kids and, um, doing all the things that you do, um, you've already lost four inches in your waist, which is phenomenal. Um, and that's in just four short weeks. Um, and uh, I'm so so excited for you and what's all to come. Um, and then also another shout out to uh, to Shauna. Um, to Shauna is one of our amazing women in our program and is doing phenomenal. And um, and it is at, has hit her 15 pound mark actually, um, in many 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 inches. But amazing job and 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 just kudos to you because why it's consistency you're showing up for yourself. Um, and that's what matters. And that's what I want to talk a little bit about today. The simpler approach to nutrition that leads to being able to actually lose pounds. Yes. But more importantly, stomach bloat, feel better, get your energy back, you know, do all the things that you truly want to do and, uh, and get rid of that belly fat. It's the number one area that women are losing their inches in when they're eating in the simpler style approach. And the first, the first thing I want to talk about a little a little, very briefly, is to stop overcomplicating it. I know that's so easy for me to say, right? Today's world has overcomplicated nutrition. There's so many tens of thousands of millions of rules that are attached to every single diet out there in today's world. And I wanna tell you right now to get rid of the diet, just take the diet out of your own own mouth um, because all it has created in today's world is more belly fat buildup. The more diets that we're following and the overcomplicating the process by getting rid of this and getting rid of that and cutting out all of these things and these rules. But majority, the problem that I have with all these things out there in today's world is the number, like the most important things that they're cutting out and they're causing you to restrict are some of the things that we're encouraging you to eat. 
Um, and, and that has to do with carbs. Um, I mean, there's diets out there that tell you don't eat veggies, don't eat fruits. I'm like, wait, whoa, those are things that God put that are that are, they're coming up from the earth. You guys, if it is coming from the ground and the earth and there is like no ingredients because it's one thing, it's going to be very good for you. Okay. So stop overcomplicating. The process is one of the biggest things. Um, and, uh, and being patient with the process, okay? I know that's not telling you what to exactly eat, but I'm trying to set the tone for your mind first because your mind is so important. Your mind matters and your mind is first. You have to make mindset shifts in order for the simpler approach to work and for you to actually be okay with the slower progress um, because it's the progress that will last. Okay, it's the progress that will last. Type it that in the comments if you're able. Progress that will last. If that's what you're after, then this is the style of eating that you can have. If you're just, if you're super impatient and you could care less about making it last, you're just trying to hit a number right now, right now, right now, um, then some of these fad diets would be great for you. Um, but here's a couple things that I want to just, you put this on your mind. If you're having problems with stomach bloat, you're having problems with belly fat. You're having problems getting results. I can't tell you how many day, how many times every every day I hear many many people, many women in this position. Okay, and then this is you put me in the comments. I'm eating clean, Angela. I'm working out five, six, seven days a week. I'm working super hard, and I'm seeing no changes, no changes at all. Which leads to what? Frustration. It leads to doubt in your own mind that you can even do it. It hit, takes a really big toll on your your confidence. And then it leads you to just throwing up, throwing up your hands and, and quitting usually. Um, but here's the thing that people are missing the boat. Our world today is full of um, quick, quick, quick and convenient. You guys were busy. Put busy in the comments if you're busy. Everybody's busy, right? But there's tiny little things that you can do. Change your lifestyle, lifestyle habits uh, in order to make it easier. Number one is you got to start limiting eating out. Okay, if you're on watching right now, tell me how many times a, a week on average do you eat out on a week? Um, and, and, it's, and it's okay, like do, nobody's, I'm not sharing or asking you to share these numbers. And if you're not, and you're not okay putting in the comments, like send it to me in a private message, I would just love to see, especially for a little bit of accountability. Number one tip thing, simpler approach, is to limit eating out, you guys. Even the healthy things on the menu are full of extra fat, extra sodium, extra all the things, okay, that is causing a lot of the stomach bloat that you've got going on. A lot of this, I'm eating clean, Angela. I'm eating the, even though I'm going through the drive-thru every day, I'm getting the grilled chicken, I'm getting this and I'm getting that, but you're still eating out. You guys, I cannot stress that enough. Save money. Save your money from going through eating out too much because um, I promise that is one of the biggest factors if you're having problems losing weight, if you're having problems getting rid of belly fat, if you're having problems with belly bloat. Um, that's okay, Chelsea. Thanks for thanks for being open and sharing because listen, I, I you're not alone for sure. Um, today's world is busy, 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 busy. And there's so much inconvenience uh, in going out to eat versus you know spending time doing some meal prepping, doing different things. But one of the first things, <laughs> and again, it's a simpler approach, a simpler rule, so to speak. Take a pledge. Limit your eating out. Limit your eating out. You're, you'll save a lot of money too, by the way. <laughs> but limit eating out because a lot of the stuff that is at the restaurants, they put extra stuff so that it tastes good. So you come back and you buy it again. And you buy it again. You got to enjoy it, right? So, But it's full of extra and processed foods. Processed foods alone is killing our world and our society and creating so much health issues and inflammation in your body. And then also some of it is causing sensitivity to certain foods that are also causing you to be bloated. So the simpler approach to that, limit eating out. If you're someone that eats out five days a week, then limit it to one. I encourage you, or maybe go with two first. Go from five to two and then go from two to one. And then maybe... I mean, your lifestyle is your lifestyle. I can't tell you how. I will tell you, we average maybe once a week and it's usually like a pizza night or something because that's kind of like our favorite cheat. <laughs> uh, but we eat at, I mean, eat at home. Um, so limit eating out is a, is a very simple approach. Okay, there's one thing and it'll save you some money. Number two is eliminate fried foods. You guys, fried foods are one of the worst as well. That's causing what? It's causing inflammation in your body and in your gut. A lot of times this is one of the biggest causes for that bloated feeling. 
okay? Um, so l eliminate fried foods, okay? And if that is your, if, and here's another question. If you're okay sharing this in the comments, tell me how many times a week do you eat fried food? And if you're someone already that's like, man, I don't even eat fried food. Awesome, keep it that way, okay? Keep it that way. That's a positive thing. Um, the, and here's the next thing. Limit sugar. How many of you guys actually pay attention to the labels on your foods? Um, sugar alone. Guys, one of the, I'll find it and I'll share it in this group today. I want to share a visual with you. And I mean, I mean sugars. There's so many different names for sugars. I'll post it here in the group. There's so many different names for sugar um, that if you read your labels, you'll be able to you'll be able to to see them. But I'll I'll post the list. It's going to be easier for me to share it that way. Um, but I will tell you some of these these microwave ready to go meals, lean cuisines, healthy choice. You guys are not healthy. They are full of added extra sugars and processed stuff that is actually causing all this stomach bloat and different things. Okay, so limit sugar. So if you're gonna be eating sugar, all natural sugars. You know, some of the best forms of sugar that you can have in your body is gonna be your fruits. Okay, your lower glycemic fruits, you stick to your berries, your raspberries, your blueberries, your strawberries. Um, those types of fruits are actually really good for you, plus they're high in fiber. We all need fiber in our diets, ladies. Try to shoot for 30 grams of fiber a day. There's a number, if you need one, try to stick to it. Um, limit the sugars, because again, sugars, um, is causing, if you have a sweet tooth, try to find some sugar-free options or different things. Or also look at, there's, oh, that would be a different video. Um, I don't want to go too, too much into it, but you know, if you have a problem getting rid of sugar, sometimes your body is a deficit of something um, that is causing your cravings to go through the roof. But believe it or not, you guys do all these things that I'm telling you. Limit eating out, limit fried foods or eliminate them all together and limit your sugars. Guess what? It also, those things that you do are going to help eliminate or at least reduce your cravings so that you have less, um, less desire um, to eat all the sweets and the sugar. Okay, you guys, sugars is one of the bigger causes of inflammation going on in your body and your gut. Okay, um, that causes the bloated feeling. Okay, that causes the build, the belly fat buildup and all the things going on for you to just be miserable. Guess what? It also affects your um, your energy levels. If you're right now like struggling with energy, put energy in the comments. If you're struggling. How many of you guys can ever uh, say that you've ever experienced like a sugar crash? Um, this this is this is I for an example. I used to be a Starbucks junkie. Um, believe it or not, <laughs> I used to work. Um, at a gym that of course there's like three all around and it's crazy. Um, and it, I was a Starbucks Frappuccino girl. Caramel Frappuccino was my jam. Um, and it was a daily occurrence between a Starbucks Frappuccino and usually a muffin. You guys, if you've ever checked out the nutrition facts of a muffin, even a brand muffin, I thought I was eating healthy. Holy cow. The fat, the sugar and everything else in that thing. Um, check your nutrition facts. And guess what though? I was drinking my coffee to get my energy, but I crashed because of all the sugar. So if you're struggling with energy, um, there's a couple different things, but sometimes um, if you're eating too much sugar, your energy is, cr is gonna crash. Um, if you're not eating enough, um, if you're not eating carbs, a lot of people are scared to death of carbs thinking they're gonna gain, help you gain weight instead. You need carbs, it's your preferred body, your preferred source of fuel for your, for your body, right? So here's a couple other things, okay? So let me recap a little bit. Limit eating out, <clears throat> eliminate fried foods. Try to totally stay away from fried foods, you guys. Um, limit your sugar, read your labels. If you're buying stuff in a box or that has a label um, that has multiple ingredients, read the box. Um, I'll share that stuff in here today. Um, here's another rule of thumb. My kids are trying to break in my door. <laughs> um, another rule of thumb is Two servings of fruit a day. Okay, try to make us make a goal for you to have two servings of fruit a day. Okay, um, again, these are healthy carbs, healthy sugars, and guess what? There's also a lot of fiber and fruit. Two servings of fruit a day. Two to three servings of green veggies a day. Okay, put two fruits in the comments if you're able to type it out. Two fruits, two to three servings of green veggies. Okay, these are all simple approaches. I'm not talking about macros today. I'm not talking about tracking your food. I'm not talking about any of that kind of stuff. Okay, this is a simpler approach to, uh, to helping you in all these scenarios. Okay, and then here's the third, the, the next thing. Protein in each meal. Get protein in each meal. Eat two servings of fruit a day, two to three servings of green a day. 
all these things are going to help you get your fiber goals because like I said at the beginning or shortly uh, or a little while ago, you want to shoot for like 30 grams of fiber a day. Okay, but by doing these things, you're going to be able to get to your fiber. Fruit a day, protein in each meal. What in the world am I supposed to eat to get protein in each meal, Angela? I'm talking about things that you can eat eggs, protein shakes, Greek yogurt, uh, beef sticks, beef bit long um, are really awesome for high protein, low fat, low carb. Um, and then uh, there's, there's plenty of other things, you guys. There's, there's edamame, there's, um, you know, there's protein in a lot of things. You just have to read your labels. Um, but protein in each meal. Okay, and then the next one I was gonna say is high fiber, which I already talked a little bit about that. And if you want, if you if you're if you have never tracked your food, try tracking your food and see where your fiber is. Shoot for around thirty. Um, and then the last thing that I'm gonna say, the last thing that I'm gonna say with the simpler approach here is get sleep. How many hours of sleep do you get on average? Drop it in the comments if you're okay with that. Um, and sleep is such an important piece, you guys. And and what I want to say about that is. You gotta figure out what works best for you. We're all in different seasons of life. I used to live on three and a half hours of sleep, and let me tell you, it broke me down to my breaking point um, because I because it was it was the life I was living, it was a routine I was living, um, it was the schedule that I was running, and I kept telling myself I could do this. I'm super woman. I can live on three and a half hours of sleep and and survive. And I slowly started breaking down physically, mentally, in every other way. Um, until about two years ago until I finally said, oh my gosh, this is not working anymore because I'm just not in a good place. Um, so sleep, you guys, sleep without enough sleep, um, you it's a stress. It's just another form of stress on your body that can cause a lot of things. It'll jack up your hormones. It causes belly fat buildup. Um, it causes belly bloat. It makes you feel tired, exhausted, worn out, and then you're mentally not able to show up either. Um, now, with that said, some of us are in seasons of life that um, I know some, you know, when you have small babies, especially, I remember the season of a life when I had my son, I slept in a recliner almost every night <laughs> with him on my chest because that was just where it worked, worked best for either one of us to get any good sleep. Um, and, uh, and it was a struggle. It was a struggle. Now, in those moments of, uh, of seasons of your life, you got to give yourself grace, focus on um, eating, eating to keep up and doing all the things right. But here's the thing. Uh, I wanted to talk about a little bit more amount of a simpler approach today because why, you know, we, we, a lot of us want to overcomplicate it. We naturally want to do that. Um, if you're someone who typically overcomplicates everything, put overcomplicate in the comments. Um, I'm naturally that type of person. I tend to overcomplicate and overthink everything. And I think I need to have it all figured out right now, right now, right now. And I have to have the results and the, all the things right now. Um, in fact, I'd rather have it yesterday. And the thing is, is you got to be patient. Don't overcomplicate it. Again, don't overcomplicate it. Be patient with the process. You guys, if you gained weight over years, you're, it's going to take a little while for you to get it off. It doesn't happen overnight if you want to keep it off. Okay, um, limit eating out, eliminate fried foods, uh, limit your sugars, eat two servings of fruit a day, three servings of green vegetables a day, get protein in each of your meals, um, and get some sleep. And don't stress about numbers. You guys, If tracking numbers and macros are great, and, and we use that a lot because it helps us just specifically help you in ways, but guys, let's be real, that doesn't work for everybody. It does, it's some people, that's a little too much. Um, it's a little too much stress, right? So use a simpler approach like what I just talked about today. You start with the things that I just shared with you today and I promise you're gonna start getting results. You'll promise you'll start seeing results. Um, do what is best for you, not what everybody else is following. That's what's key. And then dedicate time to prepare yourself for success. Dedicate 30 minutes to an hour on the weekend or maybe it's Monday or whatever the day works best for you and set yourself up for success. Have these types of foods in your home so that you don't have to figure it out on the go. Okay, if you already live a busy, super stressful life, the worst thing in the world that you can possibly do is not set yourself up for success um, and wake up each day winging it, trying to figure out what in the world am I supposed to eat today. 
If you're doing that, you're setting yourself up for failure right away from the beginning. The best thing that you can do, you already got enough stress in your life, so take some stress away by spending 30 minutes to maybe an hour on the weekend or today if you haven't done it yet, um, and set yourself up for success for the week. What can I eat? What fruit can I have um, twice a day, like Angela told me to eat, that's gonna help me feel better and get start getting some results? Um, dedicate that time for yourself. You deserve it. You are worth it. And guess what? It's going to help you be better throughout the week. It's going to help you get rid of some stress in your life that you are putting on yourself by not preparing yourself for the week. So take that stress away by just putting a little bit of effort and, and planning. Um, it, it, I promise we run a Jumpstart Detox program and we've got a new another one starting on August 23rd. Signups are starting now. Um, it's a two-week program where we, where we do all of this that I'm telling you because we, we map it out for you. We tell you what to eat, what to go buy at the store, what to prep, and we give you all the accountability in the world for two full weeks. If you want info on it, put detox in the comments. We'll share it with you. It starts August 23rd. The women, we had 24 women that went through it last time and they averaged between five and 10 pounds lost in two weeks. And now I'm speaking to all of them on a regular basis and the majority of them are still rocking it, still living with a lot of the recipes that we shared with them, using them, feeling good and all the things that they learned. Why? Because we don't just, here's a meal plan, follow it and tell me how it went in two weeks. We hold you accountable. We have fun with you. We do all the things and we also teach and we also help you find ways um, throughout that program to start working on your mind to help decreasing the stress in your life. Um, so it's so much more than just, hey, here's a recipe, follow it and tell me how it works. Uh, it's a full-blown coaching program and it's amazing. So if you want info on it, put detox in the comments. I'll send it over to you. Um, if you're in our VIP programs, you get to be a part of it for free. Um, yeah, Anita, Coach Anita is on and she said it 100%. Uh, accountability is key. I can sit here and share all these things with you today, but it's going to be up to you to actually do them. And the power to get them done is having accountability to help you do it. Um, I have my own accountability. I have a business coach. I have a health coach. I have a life coach. Why? Because I realized I couldn't do it all by myself. I needed accountability. I needed people to check in on me, make sure that I am following uh, you know, up with the things that I'm supposed to be doing for me. Because if I don't do it for me, then I cannot show up like this for anybody else in my life. Um, so you know, taking care of yourself um, I saw something the other day and I reshared it in my Instagram stories. Um, it was about self-care. Self-care is not about bubble baths and face masks. Self-care is about this. Self-care is about eating right, exercising for your body, for your mobility, for your stress reduction, getting sleep, and then just learning ways to be able to manage your stress, you guys, because your stress will take over and will screw up your hormones and do all kinds of things. What it does, well, guess what? Create stomach bloat, creates belly fat buildup, and do all the things that we're trying to get rid of, right? Um, we all have the same amount of time in the day. It's just really you being intentional. How bad do you want it? You being intentional with you, how you're going to use it. And remember, we're the examples. We, we set the example for our whole household. We're women. We're moms. Uh, you know, and even if you're not a mom, you're you're a woman. We are naturally the ones uh, that are setting the tone. Um, so focus on the bigger picture. So again, all the tips that I shared with you, um, let me know. Uh, I'd love to know when you start doing them. If you start doing them, use this group for accountability, put it in here. And if you feel like you're at that place, you're like, I can't do this alone. I need help. Then get in my inbox or, or comment help below and we'll shoot you a message and chat with you about the options. Um, but again, the next amazing option is our detox starting August 23rd where we we lay it out for you. All you got to do is, is is do the prepping, do the grocery shopping, and we'll, we'll guide you through the rest. So you guys have an amazing day. It's a new month. It's a new day. Uh, it's a new week. There's so many positives to today being a fresh start for you, or maybe just keep going strong. Um, if you had an amazing week last week, keep that momentum going. If you had a crappy week last week, learn from it. What can I do better this week? Believe that in the past, and then use today as, as a fresh start. It's a new month. Kids are going back to school this month, at least in most places. I don't know. I know ours do in two weeks. Um, and so a routine is coming back. If some of you guys are struggling more right now because it's summer and their kids are home when they're all around and it's very demanding, you're, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it's coming. So you guys have an amazing day. My inbox is always open, uh, never closes, always here to chat with anybody, even if you just need um, an ear to listen to. Um, otherwise, you guys have an amazing day.